Welcome back, my friends, to the show that sort of ended. And for that, I apologize. I'm very sorry. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Um, as always, I'm your host, Master Vinny MC. Whether you're new or old or somewhere in between, um, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Minecraft, if you guys haven't figured that out already. And uh, it's a game that I've played for a good long while. And it is, without a doubt, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I hail from the U.S. I hail from the Northeast in the U.S. And I also hail from... Well, hail falls from the sky, but I hail from a school of higher education. That is right, a college. Um, and so sometimes uh, things happen. And um, those things are called... Uh, thesis. And for those of you who have never been to college and don't know what that scary word thesis means, it's really a really big project. And it's really important because if you don't do it and you don't do it well, you fail college, <laughs> more or less. Um, so I have been so incredibly wrapped up with thesis for the last few months and trying to finish up my degrees in history and theater, if anybody was wondering, that I have been well, sorely missed by my friends and my family and, well, you guys here on the internet, and I'm so sorry that I had to go away, but if you'll forgive me, then I want to build for you guys, and I want to build with you guys, and we were having fun here in the mountains for a good long while. So, without further ado, I'm standing on the roof of the first half of my, my house that I was just uh, building before I had to take off. And I want to give you guys an update on everything um, that I've built so far. Just a quick little tour, mind you, because I know we've got some new faces, and even the old faces, you know, it's been a long while. So I want to make sure we're all operating on the same page. Now, um, this biome, this map that I'm in here now, uh, this large mountain biome, I haven't really left it. I've explored, if we pull up, F3 here. I've explored in this direction, out this way. Um, but that's about it. And when I was over there, I ran into, if we can get away from this, thank you, I ran into a swamp. So besides those two biomes, I really haven't run into much. Um, I've kind of stayed close to spawn. As a matter of fact, um, the coordinates for 0, 0 in this map are pretty much right here. This is the center of my mine, and this was probably the first project that I did. And I'm a little obsessive compulsive about centering things. Um, things either need to be consistently in even or odd numbers when I build. Um, I don't care which way I go, but things, especially since everything's on a grid in Minecraft, if things aren't evenly balanced, it really ticks me off. So. Um, I made sure to put my mine at zero, zero. And I've got four branches. And they go up something like 250 or like 100 blocks. And it breaks down into a grid later on. Um, so that was really happy for me. Because the natural spawn in this map is like... Maybe 10 blocks away from zero, zero or something ridiculous like that. And is anybody else dizzy? I'm dizzy. Close your eyes. I'll tell you when we're at the top. Keep them closed. No peeking. No peeking. Okay, we're at the top. There we go. So, when I got done with my mine shaft, the second project project that I worked on was um, the mining camp here. Uh, welcome to the zero zero mining camp. And this was has served as my base of operations and my bed while I've been building my house. And I've done just a little bit of terraforming. And then I built this nifty little tower. And then I explored and got some trees. And I made an enchanting table. And I got some potatoes off of a zombie. And yeah. And everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. How do I call it, huh? Go away. Thank you. So where were we? Oh, uh, yes. Current projects. So I am working towards a 
particular kind of build style in this map. I want to um, essentially have a modern castle look. Um, and so this is my house. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. It is beautiful, isn't it? I think it's gorgeous. He's my baby. Um, and the style that I'm going for here, again, modern castle, is supposed to... Imagine, if you will, an old derelict, beaten down castle that somebody has found and then restored into a modern home. That's kind of what we're going for. Um, so I'm taking kind of elements and design of, of newer houses and of older houses and mashing them together and seeing what I get. And I've had a lot of fun with it thus far. So it's kind of barren on the inside at the very moment. I uh, will be tweaking around with furniture. As soon as I get into the nether, we're going to put some fire in our stove and probably have some tables and some things in here. Uh, but I believe, literally in the episode that we left off, and if you want, you can go back to the playlist and check out the first couple episodes, we were here. Right here, in this very spot. Well, more or less in this very spot. And I'd had two different designs in the staircases, and it turns out this is the, the, this is the design that won out. Um, it's much simpler, it's, it's clean, it's elegant. Um, I like that it's, haha, <laughs> fenced in with, um these blocks here so that I can't fall out of my staircase because as you uh, saw before I not very good at walking up and down stairs not even in real life and um, yeah so this is gonna be our storage room uh, which I'm very excited about because I've come back to Minecraft at a point in time where uh, clay box have just added the ability to um, be dyed different colors. And this is just so exciting because as a builder, as somebody who likes to, you know, build fancy houses and, and you know, some people are all about redstone or, you know, monster hunting and other things. And nah, I'm, I'm, I'm the builder in the family. Um, having 16 new colors to build with, I'm just really excited for this. Um, I've just been a little cautious about the uh, the the new snapshots that are out right now. Uh, I've been checking them out and they seem a little buggy. Um, they've also added horses recently, and the horses have a weird tendency to bug out with the armor that you can put on them and the saddles that you can put on them. I don't believe I've found any saddles. I've only come across, um, yeah, honking horns at you too. Jerks. Traffic, what are you going to do? Where were we? Uh, saddles. Yeah, I haven't found any dungeons yet um, that I can think of. I might have come across like one, but I certainly don't have any saddles because they would be in my goodies box. I just checked my goodies box before this and I didn't see any. So, um... I don't want to take the chance that by switching into a snapshot before it's actually officially released, I mess things up because I've done that in the past and it sucks. Uh, so, yeah, fun stuff. So, I bet you're all probably wondering why you're staring at a wall of chests that you can't open because dirt is not a block that a chest can open up into. Well, the dirt blocks are just temporary right now. See those clay blocks that we've been talking about when we can finally update into here? I want to color coordinate um, my storage room. And I also want to have, you know, signs or item frames or whatever kind of designating what goes where. So I've just been kind of laying out what um, what's going to look good. I don't think I'm going to need much more storage than this. Uh, right, kind of what I've got in front of me here. Um, I need all cobblestone on this wall. So Cobbly Stern, where did you go? There we are. Thank you. Awesome. So what I what I'm what I'm kind of doing at this point is preparing for the fact that horses and colored clay and things will be out soon. Um, I'm not going to rush into them. I think they'll be really entertaining in the future. In my future. Uh, when they're here, um, and I want to be prepared for them, but I'm not 
gonna rush into it unless it unless it's looking like it's gonna be like the redstone update and they're gonna take like a half a year for it to come out then at that point I might get a low LNC but I'm willing to give them a little while to work on their stuff mostly because I've got so many things that I can work on here I gotta finish uh, gathering some resources that I haven't found in the world yet for instance um, I haven't even been into the nether so that'll be a whole adventure um, I haven't been in the end, you know. I could take like a week or two and go kill the end dragon, you know, get all prepared for that. And then by that time, I'm kind of hoping the new patch will be out. And maybe they'll have added some new things along the way. And we'll get to play with it all at once. Did you miss me? Miss me a little? Not even a little? I'm sure you did. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. This is the logic. So uh, I'm going to sleep because creepers do not like me on this map. I don't know what it is. I have never played on a Minecraft map in my life um, that has been so filled with ninja creepers before. You need to die. Get back here. I want your bones. Bones? Bones? You didn't... Oh, you did, and I'm... No, that's an arrow. What don't I need? Twelve dirt. There we go. That'll be fine. Um, so, because I'm so kind of new on this particular map I don't have a mob grinder of any kind and I was saying before you know I think I might have found like one spider spawner dungeon but that's about it um, so arrows bones man like they are a high priced commodity right now like pretty impressive stuff so what are you gonna do I am not gonna I'm not gonna avoid the opportunity to pick up some bones or arrows if they are already burning in the daylight right in front of me. I need that chest back. Thank you. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to mirror what I did on this other side because I got this laid out really well. Um, I like having double chests for bigger things like you know, dirt, sand, gravel, flint things that i am going to collect a crap ton of and then like there's other items that just like i don't need you know that much of like i'll probably dedicate one of these like just to like food you know because like i don't need a separate box for apples and cake and other things i just dump it all in one thing so come on click already jeez so but I should find a block that works well with the color scheme in here. Hmm. See, that kind of looks good because it looks like a shelf. That's kind of classy. Maybe I'll stick with that. I don't know. Because I can't use dirt. It won't let me open up my chest if I use dirt. Hmm. Well, we'll see. I gotta make more chests anyways. Ooh, look at that. We're pedaling away on time here. Only got you guys for another few minutes. Sweet. Six more chests. So, things I want to finish up, kind of uh, just talky talky wise, before we end up having to go. <laughs> Sadly as it is, you guys will see me again soon. Um, outside, outside. So, boom, boom. There we go. And that'll set off the whole pattern. Good. I like it. I like it. Um,. Just other little things I want to mention, like what what can you guys kind of expect from from me? You know, that's probably the the one question that a lot of people are wondering about. Um, you can expect me to put out maybe a video or two a week. Nothing too incredibly special. It's probably going to be mostly this series right here because this is the one that I have the most fun with, um, and it's probably mostly going to be in a world tour format. Uh, what I mean by that is I'm going to work um, on the days that I can get free time to do it and um, I'm going to build cool things and then I'm going to kind of come in and show you guys like the finished product and maybe maybe kind of like this I'll show I'll show like halfway through it and then maybe like I'll skip to the end and be like voila it's finished doesn't it look really awesome that sort of thing. Um, just because it fits my recording style a little better. 
and um, you know that's something that I just I had a lot of difficulty the last time I was recording is I really enjoyed it but um, you know the trouble was that because it wasn't matching my lifestyle and what I was able to do um, I I was really stressing out every time that I wanted to record or every time you know I I had to record um, so yeah I gotta kinda have find a happy medium there so wish me the best of luck uh, and one last thing that I know I definitely want to mention um, I know I'm hopping all over the place here. I intend to put in like other doors in this. Don't worry. I won't be jumping and breaking my knees every two minutes. Um, if anybody has any advice on where to start with the whole new YouTube layout, um, then go ahead and send me some links or a video or something. Because, I mean, like, I tell you, I, you know, I leave for like two, I leave for like two months and they changed everything. My background won't work anymore, and I don't know, I got a whole new layout. And, you know, I figure I gotta embrace the change. You know, rather than complain about what is gone, I've gotta I've gotta embrace it and move forward. But if anybody has um, any useful tips or hints on how to get it all organized, I'd really appreciate it. Especially seeing as, you know, I'm a busy college student trying to finish up my things here. So send that sort of information my way. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep on cutting down trees here. And I'm going to hopefully have this storage room done by the next time I see you guys. So I will catch you all in the future.